Hi Virgo, it's me, G1, right with G1 Insights, and I'm super excited for you because I feel like there's a lot of growth in your life when it comes to your intuition, your finances, um, your physical well-being. Somebody is moving out of your home or moving in, or this is going to be a lot of changes surrounding your home environment. This could even be within yourself. Maybe you're changing, right? But this is definitely for the best. Okay, but also, Virgo, you are coming in contact with some very resourceful people, like within your community or people that you perhaps know at work or um, people that you just meet while you're on the go at the gym, maybe at the market. You're going to be meeting some amazing people this season. Okay, but it's going to really help you to gain access to resources when it comes to your um, financial status. Okay, which is always a good thing. But I feel like there's a strategy that needs to be put in place. So whatever um, communication is going on with your finances, just make sure that you strategize and put everything into motion. Just because in the month of July, it was perfect for starting something to get it rolling, right? But the month of August was really, really all about connecting and um, analyzing your life. And I feel like the universe is really pouring out a lot of abundance on you when it comes to prosperity. You are being tremendously blessed in every area of your world financially, okay? So there's going to be people that may offer you different ways to make money. There may be some finances or um, some money that was left out or something that you didn't know that you even had there may be a lawsuit that you may win okay um you may suddenly just simply receive something and this your energy has been like this for the past two months like since basically since june your energy has been like this like really like okay yeah so embrace the moment like embrace the resources embrace the new friends um, the new spouse, whoever it is or whatever it is that is giving you this energy of liberation, making you feel excited and happy and content, embrace it, my love. Don't question it so much. This is not the season for you to worry, Virgo. And I have to tell you that because you are one of those zodiac signs that worry a lot. And you wear your worry on your face. Whenever you are stressed about something or whenever you are worried, you literally wear it on your face. So that is how people can tell when you're upset or mad or pissed the fuck off, right? So Virgo, there's going to be a man that you may need to watch, okay? Someone who doesn't necessarily have your best interests at heart. This person talks really good, very clever, talks really smooth, but he's a huge a uh, manipulator, a liar, or someone who just like to try to get over on people, okay? So be very, very cautious of uh, this particular man. This person is, I mean, he's a smooth, clever person. I mean, he's really sensual, very sexual, very, um, he talks a lot. And he talks a lot basically about what he wants to do, but he never really does it. He just all talk. OK, and I feel like this season you will recognize that about this particular person. OK, um, this could even be someone that, you know, this could be a sibling. This could be a friend. This can be a family member. OK, I'm not pointing fingers. OK, but this is definitely someone, you know, now there's also a female here. Like when you go out and you're going shopping and you are spending your time with friends or family and you are um, visiting family, there's a woman that you may meet if you don't already know this person. She is very resourceful. OK, someone very resourceful, very smart, very well educated when it comes to finances. She is going to help you. This can be a sibling. This can be your child. OK, this can be someone who actually studied this field of finances. So they pretty much know what they're talking about when it comes to investments or when it comes to um, where to put your money is. Like, you know what they say? Like, put your money where your mouth is. Like, yeah, this is going to be one of those seasons where you are literally, um, if you want to kind of reap the rewards of your finances, you're going to really have to kind of back it up. You know, put your money somewhere safe. Put your money in, in a place where you know for a fact that you're going to reap a great return, 
Okay, so this is a season where it's brilliant for networking, basically. Like, it's really great for networking and prosperity, um, setting boundaries. So whoever this person is, like, whoever this man is, I think that he can just be so clever and just kind of take advantage of you and your 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 kind will. Um, yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be setting some boundaries and putting this person in a place, okay? But don't forget to have balance, my love. I feel like the universe really really is blessing you in a tremendous way. You're literally letting go of a lot of things that really once held you back. There's a lot of abundance coming your way, a lot of clarity and abundance when it comes to love, abundance when it comes to prosperity, abundance when it comes to great health. Like you guys are literally living in your divine purpose this season. You should be happy. That's all I'm saying. Listen, the sun will be in Leo, right? And... There's going to be a new moon in Leo. And then later on, we'll have the full moon in Aquarius. So this is going to be a moment of a season where we're just thinking a lot and talking a lot and um, networking a lot, being even possibly being impulsive. So for you, I would just say really, really pay attention to who's around you. Pay attention to who you share your personal information with. But overall, and that's probably why the universe is telling me to tell you that you need to plan, to strategize, to make sure that things make sense, okay? But there is definitely going to be a shift in your home, like some type of change. Um, somebody may be moving in, somebody may be moving out, but when it comes to home related issues, I feel like you could be even redecorating or possibly doing something within the home to kind of make everybody feel better. Maybe you're painting, maybe you're dressing better, maybe you're simply just smelling better, who knows, but it's going to be a really great season, um, to really truly start networking and doing some amazing internal work as well as external work. Okay. But don't forget to set boundaries my love like if you feel like you have a message or you need to get something across and this is the perfect season for you to speak up and speak out and say exactly how you feel and if you don't like it you know or they don't like it then tough titty right but you got to do what you have to do but please pay attention to who you are surrounding yourself around make sure that they are extremely knowledgeable that they know who you are and how you deal with things and make sure that you communicate how you do things it's important for people that we connect with to know how we communicate and how we handle things. Because if not, then people just come in and do what they want to do. So that is my message for you, Virgo. And I really hope that it was clear, that it was precise. I love you. Please share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message, okay? Please like and share and subscribe. Don't be a stranger. I love you. Have a great week wherever you are in this beautiful universe. Mwah! Until next time, bye. And happy birthday.